and one of your pre- Hi, I'm Cookie Masterson, and if you don't believe in mermaids, then what is this right here, huh? Four players? What happened? Could you not agree on a rental? Everyone's got a nice little screw. If you think another player is clueless, screw them and make them answer immediately. If they miss it, you win extra cash. And today's wrong answer of the game is being brought to you by... The 24-Hour Wicker Store. Because there's no telling when you'll need a wicker fix. Try to choose the wrong answer brought to you by our sponsor to get prizes and cash. <laughs> Alright, we're taking off. Get ready, time for fashion. One. To begin with, let's talk about sext. Which of these sext messages would a sexting sexton be most likely to send to his significant other? This church graveyard is making me so horny right now. I'm wearing my construction hat and nothing else. My penis is starting to look like a skyscraper I once designed. Or, get ready, I'm sending you a pic of my junk yard. Time's a-wasting! Player one. Uh, nuh -uh. Player three? <laughs> Player four? A sexton is a church official responsible for maintaining the church property and performing related duties, such as digging graves. <laughs> yeah, and I bet he likes to do it in the rectory. Take a stab at... Sure, the Vice Lords are dangerous, but can they dance? And you just wandered into dis or dat territory. Player three, you're in last place, so go ahead and play this one and make things right. I'm gonna read off seven names, and for each one, I want you to tell me if it's a gang listed on the FBI's National Gang Threat Assessment, or a boy band. If it's a gang, press the square button. If it's a boy band, Press the circle button. Now the rest of you should listen carefully. Pick your answers before player three does, because if player three gets it wrong, everyone who gets it right will split that cash. Cool, let's do it. Backstreet Boys. Ten Mile Boys. D-Boys. You did pretty badly there. I'm sick of boy bands getting all the attention over girl groups. I mean, what's in sync got that One Direction doesn't? Those girls are talented and attractive. Dance with me, Disco 3. And now, just trolling. Why were the three billy goats gruff so gruff? It's not easy being a baby goat. It's not easy being a lady goat. It's not easy being a boy goat. Or it's not easy being a castrated goat. Player one. <coughs> Players two and three. Nuts. That's wrong. <coughs> Player four. A billy goat is a male goat. It's not easy, especially since goats don't wear pants and everyone can see your billy goat stuff. Let's try over easy in 60 seconds. So recently, I've switched over to only eating cage-free eggs. I was just feeling so guilty about eating eggs from an animal that wasn't allowed the simple luxury of moving around a few inches in a hot, crowded barn all day. In fact, I've been thinking I should extend my cage-free policy to other things in my life, like movies. So tell me, if I only wanted to consume Nicolas Cage-free movies, what film would it be okay for me to watch? Adaptation, Kick-Ass, The Expendables 2, or The Wicker Man? Watch how easy this is. Nick Cage was an adaptation, Kick-Ass, and The Wicker Man, but The Expendables 2 is Nicolas Cage free, making it fine for me to watch. I know going Nicolas Cage free is the moral thing to do, but I'm gonna have to find some way to supplement my life with all the random screaming I'm missing. No, not 
not the wicker man. But you can be a wicker man or lady with a pair of wicker socks from the 24-hour wicker store. A tisk and a task at your feet will feel like they're in a basket. You'll be happy to know this wrong answer. The game comes with $4,000. Congrats. Here's one I like to call Kangaroo, Peanut, Albert Einstein, or Uranus. Kangaroo, Peanut, Albert Einstein, Yo. or Uranus. Seen on the cover of the Beatles' Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band album. Kangaroo, Peanut, player one, who's gonna get it? The screw is a new player two, five seconds to make a choice. Could be worse, you know, in theory. That's how you screw player one. Let's see if you can make this really hurt. <laughs> Players one and four. While many celebrities and world leaders grace the cover of the iconic album cover, Einstein can barely be seen over John's right shoulder. Although, to be fair, if you squint, Ringo sort of looks like a kangaroo. Player three. That's just nuts. <laughs> That brings it closed to round one, and player four is in the lead. This could get interesting. Keep in mind, all the prizes are doubled in round two. And I want to see some screwing. You want to win, don't you? Next up, Buzzkill Feed. What would be included in a BuzzFeed article, 12 people who are totally named Buzz? A gif of the first person to walk on the moon, a gif of the second person to walk on the moon, a gif of the third person to walk on the moon, or a gif of the last person to walk on the moon? Players 1, 2, and 4. Buzz Aldrin was the second person to walk on the moon after Neil Armstrong. You also might find him in the BuzzFeed article, 15 people who wanted to murder Neil Armstrong. Player 3? Good effort. Good effort. Ah! Question 7! Get up and shake your monkey bag. I call this one, When You Wish Upon a Dead Shriveled Hand. Suppose instead of wishing on a star, Geppetto made a wish using the monkey's paw from the famous short story. What might happen to Pinocchio? He'd come to life for 24 hours, then re- Player 3, where's that screw going? Uh-oh, Player 3? Did you really mean to choose yourself? Cause it usually feels better when someone else is involved. Um, let's try to forget that ever happened. Player 4? Player 2? Player 1? In the short story The Monkey's Paw, a couple is given a magical monkey's paw that grants wishes, but every wish comes at a terrible price. That's why I never trust monkeys with wishes. If I ever hire a monkey, it's to dress up in a tuxedo, play the cymbals, and eat bugs out of my hair. That's it. It's time for... Let's get ready to crumble. Cookie fortune, cookie fortune, swear. Cookie fortune, cookie master, swear. Okay, for this next question... Oh, great, the lights went out. Uh, we could be here for a while. Luckily, I always keep a flashlight, bottled water, and a giant bag of fortune cookies. Okay, let's see what she says. It's better to have a bottle in front of me than a frontal lobotomy. Yeah, obviously. But for which of these characters is this advice too late? A clockwork orange is Alex. The catcher in the rise hold it. Player two, who's gonna get that screw? Player one, you've been screwed. You got five seconds to pick an answer. Well, I've seen worse. Player two, that was some mighty fine screwing. You want even more cash? Players 2, 3, and 4?
Um, excuse me. <laughs> Want to see the right answer? At the end of One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, McMurphy is lobotomized before being mercifully suffocated by the chief. Uh, spoiler alert for a 1975 movie. Okay, Cookie, the power is back on. Cookie? Cookie? I'm right behind you, Bob. Ah, cookie, don't, don't try to suffocate me with a pillow again. You're lost. Let's try Wiley Conspiracy. Suppose Wiley Coyote is chasing Roadrunner around the Texas School Book Depository Building. If he falls out the window from where Lee Harvey Oswald allegedly shot John F. Kennedy, what will you hear? Three floors worth of a falling sound, then a thunk? You got a player four, pick some of the screw! Player three, you're getting screwed, you got five seconds! The totally accurate and untainted Warren report claimed that Lee Harvey Oswald shot Kennedy from the sixth floor of the Texas School Book Depository Building. Of course, witnesses claim they saw a completely different coyote fall off a grassy knoll down the street, and the Warren report still stands by the ridiculous single anvil theory. I told you this was gonna happen, Player 4. Coming up next, Cinephile Dysfunction. Let's say some old guy pops a Viagra and then sits down to watch an insanely long porno. According to the official Viagra website, at what point should he immediately call a doctor if he still has an erection? The two hour mark of Dong with the Wind? The four hour mark of Dr. Javagio? The official Viagra website states that if you have an erection that lasts over four hours, you should call a doctor immediately. Hey, um, it's clear that the old guy from the question isn't me, right? It's, it's some other person. Yeah, it's just totally not me. And that's why it's funny, because it's a completely different person who doesn't resemble me at all. <laughs> that's, that's good, that's good writing. Welcome to the attack. When you see two clues that match, press the X button. 2,000 big ones if you're right, 2,000 gone if you're wrong, and of course... Remember the clue! It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. Oh hey, did I ever mention I killed my own brother? Sometimes brothers just don't get along. Good luck.
gang? Have you felt tired from all that racket and ballyhoo from the so-called music festivals that the teenage beatniks and ruffians do? Or is it a time to hop to having the music festival that Goldarn plays real music that mature adults and grown-up older people like all of us and you can enjoy? Then come on down to the Hutchinson Community Park for Jarentala Palooza. We got Jerry Gorkin's medium-sized band, the Waltzaholics, assorted Bob Hope impersonators, the sounds of the Price is Right, the Muzak Ramblers, Wind Chimes, Bingo, McDonald's Coffee, and a half dozen music boxes that play music. All the fun times and goings about begins at 7 a.m. this Thursday. And don't you worry, Missy, it's over by 2, so you have plenty of time to ski battle on home before the drug dealers come out and deal their their drugs. Take it from me, old man. Hey, can I take this microphone home with me? Huh? Do what? Yeah, okay, I'll just put it down. My name is Jaden Funk, and I want to teach you slam poetry. But talk is cheap, right? Cheap like a toy made in China by kids in sweatshops working 9 to 5 like Dolly Parton. The interruption. But North Korea just dropped a nuclear bomb on us. Just like I dropped a bomb. Mom and Dad, I'm not running the family business. Mom and Dad, I want to be a slam poet artist. To be happy like a megastore smiley face, you have to wear a matching vest just like everybody else. Ding dong, ding dong. Welcome to heaven. The most powerful words to any true-blooded American. So talk isn't cheap, but my class is. $50 for the eight-week session at the Rosewood Adult Learning Center. Hope to see you there.